Okay, I'm going to talk very, very quickly about um, our Seville blog and wiki um, for our Spanish department. So just feel like the, the people in terms of your 5Es for your ICT plus curricular skills. And just for raising the profile of your own department as a teacher um, and within a school. And also um, in terms of raising motivation and interest, the pupils are just completely into these three things. So we have our wiki, um, SpanishAndGrowingRoad.WikiSystems.com. Probably the cluster map is about the kids like best. They like to look and see where in the world uh, people have been looking at the wiki from and do they actually have they heard of the countries um, as well. Okay. Um, in terms of what we use it for, um, I use it for pupil work um, and you can just go to the different pages and check it out for all the different classes. So there's a lot of the web 2.0 tools that are being embedded on the different pages. Um, for independent learning, which is a big focus in our school this year, um, across all the year groups. Um, so for example, we have A-level pupils who would sign out of independent study periods and they would come down and get the laptops and there's lots of different websites. So we have um, a list of useful websites for A-level, a separate page for Key Stage 3 and a separate page for GCSE. Um, and I try to put a wee note beside it to tell them why I think it's a useful site in terms of listening to Spanish teachers. Sorry, I should have said that uh, at the start. All right. Um, flip lessons um, is a concept I must give um, Chris Hart a shout out. He's now in Australia. Um, but he talked a lot about flip lessons where it's flexible learning and independent um, study. So the idea is that one period a week out of the four periods at my GCSE Spanish class have they choose the area that they want to work on. So this just gives them some ideas of the kind of things they could be working on and really the idea is that they don't target their strongest area, they're meant to target what they what they struggle with. And they quite like that, they like that kind of thing. <laughs> Alright. Um, study skills, um, anybody who has a joy of doing controlled assessment, particularly as a language teacher, um, is done. Um, so really the idea was I just went, I put some tweets out and I got to past people and said, please help, how did you learn your controlled assessment? And they came back with all these different answers and we just put them on a page in the wiki. And the kids find that really useful because if you have 100 ideas, they will find one that works for them. All right. um, and the other thing I want to do very quickly mention is we set this up, Joe Deal, the amazing Joe Deal, um, we set this up whenever uh, we were going to Barcelona with the Spanish department. Um, and the idea is that if you have a phone that you put the posters app on it, and then basically we just were blogging from my mobile phone while we were in Barcelona. So we were able to um, put pictures, okay, we got permission for all of this, and my headmaster is very forward thinking, so thank you him. Um, and the idea was then that we just kind of blogged. My, my unfulfilled dream of being an author was fulfilled on the trip. Um, but I kept authorship of this, I didn't let it go to the pupils at this, for this trip, just because it was the first time. But we were able to upload the pictures there and then, okay. We spent a lot of time in Burger King and the free Wi Fi in Barcelona <coughs> and videos because we're using the video facility and the phone number we were able to take videos of the pupils around. So the parents said they just loved this whenever they were at home watching their little chairs were A, so them sound and B having that contact has really brought it all home to them. Um, but it's now moved beyond that that we use it now for promoting languages in the school generally and for putting people's work out there. So okay. And that's just some of the thank you. So,